Let's talk about workspaces. So each PictoChart visual that you create takes place within a workspace. You'll need to make sure that you're in the correct workspace before you begin to create a visual as visuals are not transferable between workspaces. You can have access to more than one workspace and all of your workspaces will appear here on the top left. You can hover over each icon in order to view the name of a certain workspace that you have access to. And then you can click on the icon in order to access that workspaces dashboard and begin collaborating on the visuals. Once you're in your own personal dashboard, you'll be able to invite members to join your workspace by clicking on this invite member option here. And then that user will be invited to join your workspace where they will have access to collaborate and edit the visuals that you want to share with them. If you want to collaborate with a team, for example, but you don't want them to have access to your personal workspace, you can always click on this plus symbol here and then create a new workspace. You'll be taken to this pricing page where you can uh, click on this buy new workspace option and then select create new workspace. From here, you'll be able to choose the plan for your workspace. You can choose to be billed monthly or billed annually, and then you can also choose your team size. If you wanna create a team of three people, for example, you can increase the number here. You can view your order summary and then click next payment methods in order to select your preferred payment method and then create your second or third or however many you want workspace.